Good morning, anglers. This is Anglers 48. I'm already here in Fort Mansfield. Este, it is uh, very, very windy. Uh, I'm gonna, there's no live shrimp, so I'm gonna try to rough it out, see how it goes. Uh, I'm looking for este, flounder, trout, and uh, slot red, low end slot red. So this is where we're at right now. This is the, the south side of Port Mansfield. That's the south side. We do have uh, some anglers already here, guys. There is a lot of wind, all right? There is a lot of wind, so I may have to put some type of background music. As they, we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back. Hopefully we can get Anglers, good morning. This is Angler 48. I've been here for about 40 minutes here at uh, Port Mansfield. Right now it's about 7:35. 7:35. Uh, it's a little bit uh, gusty, gusty winds. But uh, I'm uh, fishing the the shore, and I'm <coughs> I'm fanning my fishing rod as the I'm already using my second uh, jig. Right now I'm using the closest thing that I could get to a bug. All right, I wasn't able to go to Academy. The, the audio is gonna be very poor, I think. So I may have to put some type of uh, upbeat music, all right? Uh, stay. Let's go ahead and, uh, I haven't caught anything, no bites. I think I got a one hit. So let's go ahead and get to work, all right? Let me just make sure that uh, it is recording. Again, we are in the south side of town, and this is the this is what we're using. This one right here. <coughs> that bug right there. Casting, 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 casting. Go to the left. The water is very, very dirty, very dirty. So it is a challenge for the uh, fish to be able to see as the, the lure. It is a challenge. I've seen a lot of mullets turning up dead. Something's going on. I see all kinds of mullets in the water. What I am looking for, I haven't seen a whole heck of a lot of movement. So I'm looking for bait movement or any kind of movement because that's the honey hole. All of a sudden, you start seeing you start seeing uh, all kinds of bait jumping and moving. That's where you want to be. So, if there is fish, eventually I will end up running into them, or I hope I run into them. Twitch, 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 twitch.
what I heard if they if they keep warned I hope I'm saying his name right keep warned what I heard him say is when you see that grass right there when you see that grass that line you want to fish parallel to that line because that's where the fish are going to be uh, if they're hitting so you don't want to kind of throw across which is something sometimes what I do so you want to throw parallel to it I do see some birds I haven't seen them feeding or anything but I am hoping that uh, I'll run into the uh, the honey hole I have never been out this far as the waiting I came on a kayak maybe once or twice but waiting no the north side of town anglers is closed they still have it blocked up And I am fishing with a Daiwa rod, seven foot, and then a uh, Shimano, a Shimano FX C3000, courtesy of your Academy of Sports and Outdoors. I didn't want to start to videotape until I ended up uh, hitting the spot, but it is, it's the, the wind, the water, it's murky, there's no live shrimp also. I think I have a, a bigger chance of getting something because I need to take something home anglers. I need to take a fish home. I need to get a keeper fish. I want I want it to be a black drum but uh, I'm not picking a black drum. I want it to be a flounder. Yeah. I have seen some shrimp jumping in the water. And I've cast it out towards that shrimp, but nothing. Yesterday, if uh, you haven't uh, gone to uh, my channel, it's the, my son, he had his senior parade where each parent drives uh, their, their, their son or, or daughter the, around campus picking up uh, the awards, taking pictures, saying hello, saying goodbye. So it's like the last ride around campus. So it was very nice. Like right there, that was a shrimp. And there are quite a bit of shrimp jumping, guys. But. I haven't seen uh, no blow-ups. No type of uh, if they tailing or anything like that. Right now, the thing is, 
the, the ground is a little solid, okay? The bottom is very solid. So there is no vegetation for the fish to hide, all right? No vegetation. So where can the fish hide? And where can the, the game fish ambush? They can't ambush. I think there's uh, an angler. It looks like an angler. <coughs> way, way over there. Maybe an angler. The last time that I came, I was able to catch a red. It, I think it was undersized though. Okay, and again, this is the second bait that I use angles. This one right here, all right? You can get them at Academy, they're not that very expensive. <coughs> uh, I haven't personally caught anything with it, but this is something that the uh, RX Angler este, uses, something similar to this. What I like about uh, this uh, lure anglers is that it has uh, <coughs> as the wheat lifts. Look at this. This part right here, that part prevents the weeds from uh, catching on. Look at that, right there. Spoon. I did bring the spoon, and I don't want to cast it. <clears throat> I don't want to cast it until I'm, I may be coming back. No blow-ups. No. No signs of. Uh, the movement from the mullet Right, anglers, este, we're gonna take a break. I haven't got any hits. We'll be right back, and uh, hopefully, when we come back, we'll be getting into something nice. Hopefully, guys. Okay, I want to take uh, something home. Keep. This is Anglers 48. Uh, looks like I got skunked again. Este, no bites. No bites. There's uh, quite a bit of people here este, in town enjoying uh, the nice uh, weather. There is a breeze, but uh, 
it compensates. You're not gonna get too hot. There's a breeze, you're gonna be cooler. But there's no fish. I did see a lot of dead mullet in the water. So I don't know what's going on. Este I haven't uh, seen anybody catch anything so I wanted to try it by the by the pier throwing it to the pier we'll see this is the south side of the shore of the town Uh, enjoying the the morning the gentleman uh, before the, uh, that couple right there yes, uh, he said that he was uh, just getting cat he was getting catfish that guy over there looks like Tony could it be Tony? Mm, he hasn't called me that looks like Tony boy No, because he's with a lady. No. He's the lady. No quiere, sir? Somebody, probably. I don't know where they're at. I see I see a lot of dead uh, mullet. There's a lot of dead mullet. Is it red tide? Usually when there's red tide, there's a lot of... Uh, I've seen, I've seen people, as they, not many, uh, cleaning fish. Like when I'm gonna leave yeah. in other places and also in here, but I'm thinking that those people they drift yeah. and uh, de repente they get a hit and you know they make a they make a killing with that. But like you said, they probably went into the deep. So to I guess uh, the further in they go, the less yeah. yeah. I've seen one or two fish swim by. It could be it could be a mullet. It could be a catfish. But I would try to cast it in front of them and nothing. But like you said, sometimes they're feeding at night. So when you come during the day, there's nothing. You know. About two and a half months ago. I think I was fishing maybe around here, around here. Overnight, uh, they weren't biting; they were eating the the bait, I was like mullet, that mullet. So I started casting and I caught crab. So I cut it in half, and I was gonna go in with uh, some of my shrimp. I said, no, I'm gonna leave that rod here. As I was gonna leave, it 
I had it propped on the chair. It's a good thing I saw it. I heard it. Si no, when I would have come back, it would have been gone. Yeah, pero they, they, uh, the reds, you know. Help that uh, the seaweed also it, co it covers your your bait, you know. I'm a kayaker, and uh, I do more north than south. About a month and a half ago, my friend and I, it was about this rough, maybe a little bit more. In the Fuimos, but it was the first time back from the when they reopened it. And uh, this guy, he goes, I'm taking in water. <sighs> so he goes out and he and he capsizes. You this the the kayak? He goes to an angle. Y luego dije, está bueno. You work it out, and I'll fish. Nothing. And then I'm going to him, but she, I was, I capsized too. A, a wave caught me, so we're drenched. Uh, the kayak has a lot of water. It's horrible. You get this? So, pero I haven't had success here with a kayak. Nothing. Una vez, I was like for about an hour and a half, two hours, back and forth with a kayak drifting. The hill. The last hour, I'm gonna cast from the shore. So I started right there where those people are, with the, you know, with those fishing poles. And and I was I was carrying the kayak. I was toting it right here. As the the furthest I could throw my my popping cart. I caught about three or four reds. None of them were none of them made it. They were undersized. But I was like. I'm over there, and the and and the reds are right here. Yeah. They tore, they tore it down. I think on purpose. saw him here and he would tell me about that palm tree and I was like where is the palm tree I will never see it he get a palm tree and he goes you would go in the water would be going up 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 yep. and people would give up they would give up yep. he, no keep going he low it would go back down they would make a killing there that way I'm like I don't feel any any vegetation
there's no vegetation so the mullet can't hide and the and the, the game fish they can't ambush bueno, pues, I'll, leave, I'll leave you sir all right what's your name René. René. Sí, ajá. Yeah. I have a channel, este, a YouTube channel. Este, I do a lot of postings ahí about my fishing experiences. The last couple of them haven't been too good, ¿entiendes? And I've been at Port Isabel, I've been in Arroyo City, but it's it's not just here, ¿entiendes? No, but I went to Arroyo City We made it back uh, to the end of the video. Este, it wasn't, it wasn't a good day. Uh, beautiful day, though. I mean, in regards to climate, you know, just, just to be out here. But as far as the fish, uh, I'm thinking that uh, there is some type of riptide right now because I've seen, I saw a lot of uh, dead mullet. And uh, what I'm thinking ha is happening is the game fish uh, go into the deep to avoid if they getting sick or, or, or dying. So I tried all kinds of lures as they slow retrieve, fast retrieve, and nothing. So what can you say? You know, I met uh, one or two interesting, interesting characters there enjoying themselves uh, they hadn't caught anything either uh, so I'm just gonna take off home and uh, relax and let's see uh, next weekend uh, anglers uh, I won't be able to come on Saturday I do wanna bring uh, my dad and uh, you know we'll come out here for a couple of hours so that he can get his feet wet hopefully the, the weather is a little bit better the only thing is if if you x the 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 wind what you're gonna get is you know hot sweaty sticky conditions that's the only thing the wind is there to be able to cool you from the, the sun and the heat but if you take away the wind you're gonna be sweating bullets I would rather sweat bullets and be able to to cast and and and, and uh, fish than to have all this you know, uh, wind in my face and, and I'll be able to, <coughs> to cast my line so we'll see how it plays for next week like I said uh, if I come you know, and I feel good and everything uh, maybe Sunday if not I'll just wait for maybe Tuesday or Wednesday you know in the month of June as the, uh, that way I can bring my, my dad okay so and I'm not doing uh, too hot as far as my my health. So I, uh, for those of you who who've kind of noticed, I won't be seeing some type of specialist because uh, I've been feeling horrible. Um, right now I can't, you know, I don't show it. But uh, there are times when it's just, you know, unbearable, you know, to the point where I just want to go and admit myself into the into the hospital. So until next time, faithful uh, watchers. If, if this is your first time, hey man, hit that subscribe button. As they, I don't want to say you won't be disappointed because this is like my fifth or sixth time that I come and zero fish. But that's okay. I'm out of the house. 
Este, you know, I'm out here enjoying myself, getting some good exercise, you know, and, and uh, for the time that we were on lock, uh, lockdown, shelter in place, where I w didn't fish for about a month, my health that's where my health started to get back so fishing i tell my wife that fishing makes my 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 health get better so i love you guys este, thank you for watching for those of you who's made it all the way to this end of the video este, take care of yourself stay safe and if you go out there to the water safety first anglers 48 from port mansfield signing off